While NASA astronauts got new SpaceX training sims for hours of delight, you may have missed the Chinese security taser yielded by a robot, the UAVs you control with your mind, and gloves that will help hard of hearing folks communicate with the verbal world. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where just your controls have come a long way since the amazing fails of early Wii days. <laughs> now for my favorite. Let's go, bro. Come on. Oh. Oh! In the most solid good guy tech invention we've seen in years, please take a gander at the sign aloud gloves that translate the words deaf or mute people sign to the rest of the hearing world. Hello, my name is Thomas and this is Navid. These two inventors from the University of Washington just won the top prize at an MIT competition. The gloves work by connecting with Bluetooth to a laptop, then processing the movements and spitting out the audio. You were to say, hello, I'm well, thank you. It would look something like this. Hello, I'm well, thank you. And just like that, we've translated American Sign Language into spoken English instantly. Apparently, something like this existed back in 2003, but nothing much has taken off. Here's hoping these two use their prize money to keep pushing the project forward. And by pushing it forward, we mean don't end up as a huge Kickstarter fail story. Looking at you, Logbar. The gestures work about 5% of the time. It's incredibly frustrating. It's comically unusable. Drone racing might be the new hotness, what with ESPN cashing in. Now if the pilots make it through this tunnel that you see behind me, they'll get 50 points. But prepare yourselves, internet friends. Now you can race drones with your mind. Three, two, one. University of Florida pitted a group of students against each other in a brain-controlled interface race. Pilots wear special electroencephalogram headsets that translate mapped out brain activity to software commands. Users concentrate really, really hard about lifting off and moving forward, and the system commands the connected quadcopters to obey. Theoretically, at least. This is Florida, not Dagobah. I don't, I don't believe it. That is why you fail. China's Chongqing municipality recently debuted its new robotic overlord, I mean security drone. Developed by China's National University of Defense Technology, the NBOT has a top speed of 11 miles per hour and can easily patrol areas and even chase down suspects before subduing them with its onboard taser. Wait, what? This thing is armed? Just give them disintegration rays and a plunger, why don't you, China? Congratulations, you guys, you just built Dalek. Exterminate him, exterminate him. And finally, I can't be the only person horrified and obsessed with the all-girl metal group, Baby Metal. That song is about wanting chocolate. It's cool, I can relate to their pain. Anyways, Nintendo just announced the group is coming to its popular Super Mario Maker, so you can see the trio bopping around inside gaming consoles soon enough. But they're not even singing, just watch their videos. <laughs> 